But my heritage is Cuban and everybody always asks me if I would give them the, the secret recipe for Cuban pernil. Now there's as many many recipes for lechon or pernil as there are people, okay, in the world. My sister has this recipe and she marinades it for two days. See, this is her recipe and I'm gonna show you how she makes hers. This recipe is for people who just wanna like throw together the, uh, the pork for that day, leave it, and then all you do is on the day of the celebration, throw it in the oven. It's super easy. She uses this uh, sofrito, which you can make yourself. You can just go on the internet and find a sofrito recipe. But she uses this for convenience, I'm using this garlic, which is minced garlic, basically. The ground cumin, the sazon goya. This is like the secret of all Latin American cooking. My father used to use this. My mom used to use this. Right, so this has MSG and all that it does is it enhances the actual food. Then the mojo, basically a, a sour orange marinade. Now you can get pork shoulder or pork butt that you should make sure that it has this nice fat cap. So this is nine pounds. You're going to make your sofrito and your garlic mixture. Drain some of this juice and you're going to put it in a bowl. Put three of these Sazon Goya packets. So then you're gonna add half of the sofrito that's in here. Then you're gonna mix that puppy in. You're gonna add some cumin. And you're gonna mix that in really well. So you're gonna make the incisions and you're gonna go in about halfway, but make the incisions big enough where you can stuff this kind of garlic sofrito mixture in it. And while this is cooking, the fat from the fat cap is gonna mix in and distribute the flavors over throughout the entire meat. On the sides, on the top. Don't be afraid of making it too big for this whole teaspoon to fit in there. And if it's not big enough, just get the knife and make it bigger. Put the pork in the oven bag. Get the mojo and you're gonna make sure that any of like the herbs and stuff that have settled at the bottom, shake it up and then pour it in here. Once you pour the mojo all in, lift up the bag. So this right now is covering half of it. Then you don't need any more. You're gonna take out the air as best as you can. Twist it to remove any of the air over the top. And then you'll make the knot like that. And this baby to the refrigerator, 48 hours. So it's nice and mojoed out and nice and marinated. Bye. All right, so we just pulled the pork out of the oven. Look how beautiful it looks. It's been about six hours. So the fat cap has released and rendered a lot of its fat and gone through the meat and kind of like infusing flavor through the pork with the sofrito and the garlic. You're gonna shave off a little bit of the fat cap. You can see how moist that meat is and how tender. So I'm gonna try a little piece. Very, very delicious. Items that are gonna go with it, with the black beans and the rice, plantains, mmm, delicious.